Hey, welcome boys. It's another week. I believe this is our fourth week here doing these videos and I just want to say that we miss you guys very much. We're thinking about you guys and uh, you're the reason we're doing these videos. So I hope you guys are enjoying them. This week I, I will be joining some of you guys on a Zoom uh, meeting. So I look forward to seeing you guys there. It's been over a month since I've seen you guys. So I hope to see, see most of you uh, very soon. For those of you guys that uh, would like to uh, call me or, or email me, um, we'll put up my email. It's going to be right here. And also my phone number. You guys can uh, give me a call or text me. Okay. Anything you guys want to talk about, you know, just give me a call and I'll be more than willing to, to, to talk with you guys and see what's going on. Uh, I look forward to doing that real soon. So also one of the things that we've been doing is the Big Five Challenge. Okay, so remember it's a half mile run. You gotta do your uh, pull-ups, the five pull-ups, the sit-ups, the push-ups, and then the five uh, little half mile run again. So we're gonna have Commander Eric. He's gonna be giving you guys some physical uh, training tips on that very soon, uh, right here on these videos. Okay, so you guys keep active, keep it going, and uh, even I'm getting into it because you know what? All this staying home and all the good food that my wife's been cooking, Yep, uh, I've been gaining some weight. So I'm jumping in on this Big Five Challenge, and I hope to uh, hope that you guys are too, okay? Uh, we're going to be going over the Roll Ranger code, okay? For some of you guys that have forgotten, it's alert, clean, honest, courageous, loyal, courteous, obedient, and spiritual. Today we're going to focus on two of them. It's the first ones. Alert, he is mentally, physically, and spiritually alert. Clean, he is clean in body, mind, and speech. Okay, so I want you guys to memorize those this week. That's your homework. Uh, besides whatever else your commanders are doing with you, okay, memorize those and put them into memory. And when we come back to our meetings, you guys should have all eight of them memorized with the meanings, okay? So get that into memory. Also, the golden rule, okay? The first person who texts me or emails me uh, the, cor the, the correct verse and, the, and what's the meaning of the motto, or, or the golden rule, uh, will get a special prize, okay? You'll get a gift certificate to your favorite restaurant, okay? So the first person that does that, you win, all right? So guys, uh, I hope you guys like these videos that the commanders are putting together. I want to say a quick prayer before I leave you guys, so let's go ahead and bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for this, uh, another week that you've given us to to uh, just bring the message to the boys, Lord God. Lord, I pray for them, Lord God. I pray that they're doing well at home. I pray that they're listening to their parents and, and doing all their homework, Lord God. Lord, continue to meet their needs and, and meet their wants as well, Lord God. I pray for the entire family. I pray for our church, Lord God. Continue to be with our pastors and uh, just continue to watch over us. Thank you for watching over us and taking care of us. In your name we pray, amen. All right, we'll see you guys next week. God bless. All right, boys, go ahead and stand up. Put your right hand over your heart, and we're going to say the pledge to the American flag. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Next, we're going to say the pledge to the Christian flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for which kingdom it stands, one brotherhood uniting all true Christians in service and in love. Two, put your right hand up, and we're going to say the, the pledge to the Royal Ranger flag. Ready, begin. With God's help, I will do my best to serve God, my church, and my fellow men, to live by the Ranger Code, to make the Golden Rule my daily rule. Two. Thank you, boys. You can have a seat now. Welcome back, boys. And today we will be continuing lesson four of Titus. The verse for today is Titus chapter two, verse one. You must teach what is in accord to sound doctrine. Is there such things that are right and wrong? How do you know what or who is the authority on what is right and wrong? Questions like this have surrounded us every day. Unfortunately, society answers are unusually far from the truth. The truth is in God's word. Um, some people argue that it's okay to do 
what makes us feel good. God's word tells us that instead we should do what pleases God. Society says that we should accept other belief systems and treat them as equals. God's word says Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way to salvation but through him. Some people even say that there is no absolute truth, but God's word tells us that there is an absolute truth, and that is Jesus. Jesus is the living word. Right and wrong are laid out clearly by him in the Bible. Like rope game of tug of war, uh, we are being pulled in different directions. Which way are we going to go? Are we going to go in God's way, or are we going to go in the direction of society? Notice the advice that Apostle Paul gave us as a young man he mentored. Uh, Paul instructed Titus to teach his words in accord to, with the sound doctrine. In other words, he wanted Titus to stick to the truth. The best source of truth for a young man is God's word. There is no greater authority or guide in this world. So I want you to think about how much you read the Bible. And I want you to think about everything that you do know about the Bible. Do you know it from cover to cover? Because I can admit that I may not know it from cover to cover, and a lot of us don't. But that's why we need to continue to read the Bible, um, because it's essentially the guideline for our life and what we can and can't do. Just because the world says that it's okay for us to do it doesn't mean that it truly is. When we have opportunities to share the truth with others, we must remember that the truth isn't found in our opinions or feelings. It is important to share from the, uh, the source of truth, which is God's word. Life shouldn't be based on what these, those around us do, but rather how God's word instructs us to live. And this is important because sometimes we can act out of feeling. Um, we can do things out of anger. We can do things just because it hits us in the moment, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the right option to go with. As young men of God, the ultimate source of instruction on how to live must come from friends, society, entertainment, or anything but the word of God of course, in the world standards. Uh, these things can change, but God's word does not. We can trust God's word to guide us down the right path for our life. When we teach, preach, and share, and live God's word every day, we can be assured that we will be prepared to please God. Sharing the truth isn't always easy. The truth can be unpopular because people don't want to hear it. And um, I feel like this is very prevalent in the media today. You're always going to see hate around uh, Christian ideals, but it's our choice whether or not we follow what God says and stand strong in our faith or if we try to please the masses. And um, ideally, we need to follow what the Bible has laid out for us, no matter what judgment may come. Um, as Christians, we need to have the responsibility to God and speak the truth of love. Even when it's unpopular, we are made fun of, or we may be made fun of or told we are ignorant. Truth in the gospel must be shared. Hold fast the sound doctrine. Do what the Bible says. Tell others the good news of Jesus Christ, even if the society never accepts what you have to say. Jesus Christ, the Father, will be proud of you. Um, let's go ahead and pray, guys. So bow your heads and close your eyes. God, please help me know and live by the truth found in your word. Teach me to make decisions based on your word and not others' opinions. Help me to live the life of truth based on the Bible uh, that is a testimony to others. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Continuing on with the bachelor merit, uh, by this point you should already be managing the family's budget, preparing meals, cleaning the bathrooms, cleaning around the house, uh, doing the laundry, and now today we're going to talk about ironing that laundry. So you don't want to go out into public wearing a ugly wrinkled shirt because if you were to go out to a job interview like that, what are they going to think? You always want to be looking nice and um, there's certain ways that you iron depending on what you have. So I don't have an ironing board here with me today, but you would generally lay it out. And if depending on the clothing, uh, you might need to put another sheet over it just so you don't burn the material. But um, one of the number one things to remember is don't be touching the iron when it's hot with your hand. This one isn't plugged in, but don't be messing around with it too much. Um, always remember to be filled up on water in here because, again, you don't want to burn it. And an example of something that you can do is put a cloth over it, like this one that we have here. We have a handkerchief. So you would generally lay it out, put it over and then when you go to iron, 
you're essentially ironing it on the bottom with the heat still, but you're not making direct contact with the heat, so you're gonna keep it from getting burnt. Um, your t-shirts and other cotton material items, you can still put the iron directly on it, but what your task is gonna be for this week is you're gonna be ironing your own clothes and maybe iron it for your mom or your dad or siblings, whoever may be in the household with you. So get to it, boys, continue, finish up strong. You have about another week with this merit, boys. Uh, finish up strong, continue to clean your house, um, iron your clothes, do your laundry, keep your room tidy, and remember that your parents will need to sign off on this, so by next week, you should have a majority of the merit signed off. And thank you and have a great rest of your week.